time limit. There for this bout here, Dutch Savage will be the referee on the floor and Sandy Barr in the ring. Introducing in this corner, 250 pounds from Las Vegas, Playboy Buddy Rose. Rose wants to start it. Piper says, all right, we'll have at it, and they're outside the ring. They start it. And into the second row of chairs. And thank goodness that that gentleman sitting there was agile enough to get out of the way. Because Piper was going to take Rose somewhere and crash his head on something. Uh, I'll tell you, I can't see this one going the distance at all. These two, this is just a bar brawl. No title on the line. Piper had said he'd put the title on the line, but remember, his man, Bad News Brooks, still not well enough to wrestle after being injured at the hands of Wyskowski and Rose. However, Wyskowski, who was back in Ohio, I believe, Missouri, rather, with some uh, taking care of some family problems, back there, illness in his family, has returned and was not expected to be here tonight, but is. And for that reason, Piper said, I'm not putting up the title with Wyskowski in the arena. And he wants to get it on. The first time ever I've seen him take his kilts and shirt off outside the ring. He wasn't even going to take the chance. That Savage over with a quick count on him. He started giving him a count in a hurry. He got in at about 18 and a half, 20 seconds, and he counted out. And remember, no matter what you want to do or don't want to have done to you, a winner's share of the purse compared to the loser's share, especially in the main event, is a big difference. Buddy Rose coming back now on Piper. He is laying it right on where he opened Piper up Tuesday night. They just went at it in a brawl Tuesday night. The main event was an over-the-top battle royal with the women involved, and they hung in there pretty well, but Adrian Adonis ended up the winner. Headlock from behind, Buddy Rose. On Rowdy Rowdy Piper. And that is a headlock. The blood's starting to flow. The blood is starting to come. Roddy Piper's the first one to shed it. Buddy Rose the first one to bring it. And he is working on a headlock from behind. He can put him out with this hold. They want Piper. Would you ever believe two weeks ago, three weeks ago, that you'd see Roddy Piper getting cheers? Buddy Rose, one of the few men I know that could do it. Roddy Piper. And believe me, Piper has not changed a bit. First fall, that's two out of three falls. Piper with a flail kick, caught from behind with a headlock.
Roddy Rose, Roddy Roddy Piper. Inside the ring is Sandy Barr. Sitting outside the ring, now momentarily sitting, he's up most of the time, is Dutch Savage. Trying to get a reversal out of it. Rose is ordered to break. And now grabs again from behind with the headlock. Boy, boy, Buddy Rose. And this looks very much like it could be a repeat. Tuesday's match got completely out of hand. Sandy Barr is talking to told Stan Stasiak, Stan and Buck Rock and Roll Zumoff came out to help him break it up. And he turned to Stasiak and on the microphone said, Stan, I just can't handle these two alone. But getting the assignment was Dutch Savage to be the second referee. Not sure Stan Stasiak licensed yeah, he's probably on a temporary license. Working on the cut at the same time, working on the temple. Inflicting pain. Also can put a man out. Playboy Buddy Rose. And you see, Rowdy Rowdy is not very rowdy right now. Hand falls once, hand falls twice. And that time he holds it up. Just out of your camera range, Sandy Barr. Raising the arms, and that time a flying, flailing knee lift to the top of the head of Buddy Rose. Double eye gouge. Going for the kick. Saw that Piper was covered up, pulled it back, and laid another one on him. A southpaw. Roddy Piper trying to clear the head. Comes off the ropes with a flailing right hand. A kick to the midsection of Rose as he comes in the corner. After Piper, and Piper is just trying to get his head cleared. Fails away and doubles up. A man known to some as the Pillsbury Doughboy. Watch out, Rowdy Rowdy is riled. And heading outside the ring, not making it. Buddy Rose was pulled back inside the ring. Karate Thumb, Piper has not changed his style at all. And he's got fans cheering for him. I wouldn't believe it. And he hasn't changed a bit. Roddy Piper wrestling as he always did, the same attitude. He didn't ask anybody to cheer for him. He just got into a disagreement with Rose. And they are attempting to settle it in the ring. Shoulder throw. Rose up high, down hard. Piper working to the midsection. Now going up above to the head of Buddy Rose. Flying there, flying foot stop. Right to the mouth. Oh, suplex drop. Roddy Piper grabbed him. And at the count of two, he wants to hurt him some more. He had him pinned. There is no doubt. He had him pinned. He grabs that front headlock, reverses it, and drops into a suplex drop. Covered one. Two, and this time he'll pin him. Roddy Piper winning the first ball and getting cheered for it, if you can believe that. 
Well, in a moment here, we're going to be telling you again where all the action is around the Pacific Northwest. We hope you have a piece of paper and a pencil handy because we're going to go kind of fast. And who would have guessed? And he, along with the inside referee, if you want to call it that, Sandy Barr calling him into the ring. We call for the bell. Rose is heading back up the dressing room. Savage is going after him counting. Savage isn't even talking to him. Savage is just counting. He said he won't let me in the ring. He's heading up toward the crow's nest. Well, he made it in. The count would have been stopped anyway because Piper was going out after him. Piper definitely says, I don't care where we have this one. That's what happened Tuesday. And third fall action, it got down to where they didn't care where it was. And it ended up in the bleachers. I have I've seen it spill over into the third, fourth row. I saw Maurice Vachon and Lonnie Main chase each other to one end of the Coliseum where the bleachers stand for baseball underneath, but they were not bleachers there. That's years ago when we had some 8,000 plus people at the Coliseum for a big one. Right now we've got a wild one, I'll tell you that, Roddy Piper. Playboy Buddy Rose and Piper, and I cannot get used to the applause for Piper and the applause earlier tonight when Adrian Adonis remarked about Bad News Brooks being on his way back. Brooks got applause. Winner of the first fall in this match, which has not really turned into the brawl that it did Tuesday night yet. First fall to Roddy Roddy Piper, his title not on the line. Sit out to the back of the head. A headlock. Actually a chin lock twisting that head. Piper on Rose. Sandy Barr, the referee inside. Outside is the Dutchman. That's Savage. Two referees are trying to handle this one. Sandy Barr saying break it. Piper says I'll break it. He broke it. Grabbing the hair of Rose. Putting the throat over the top rope and leaping from the apron down to the concrete floor. Piper with a judo chop. Setting for the whip. The bottom turnbuckle went down. Flying drop kick is missed by Piper. The middle turnbuckle. The middle turnbuckle is down. Savage is coming into the ring. Savage coming into the ring there, counting him off, trying to get the turnbuckle away. And I tell you, mayhem can happen. Turnbuckle treatment for Piper. Rose got him pretty good before that turnbuckle was taken away from him. And to the ropes, knee into the small of the back. And they are having trouble getting that turnbuckle back in. But Piper is having as much trouble from Buddy Rose. Rose kicks to the midsection. Judo chops through the ropes, right through the middle rope that they were almost had hooked. Almost had it hooked there. Outside the ring, Piper is carried into that ring post. The small of the back, he was in a carry position 
A small in the back, ram into the ring post. Now Farrenbar, strong young man, unhooks the other side. He was working on one, and Rose now is unhooking all of the turnbuckles, trying to get an advantage. The ring crew trying to fix it. Rose tearing it apart, trying to get an advantage out of it if he can. Piper is hurting. Stop to the head. They're going at it to get that turnbuckle up anywhere. It's going to be it's going to be a little low. To the small of the back. The whip hard into the corner. I tell you, they're there, knock the ring equipment apart. You know they're going at it. If you don't believe otherwise. Billy Robinson, inside backbreaker. One, two, and he wants to hurt him some more. He picked him up at the count of about two and a half. We want Piper the cry from the crowd. And Piper's coming back. Now another backbreaker. He got back with one shot, but he's picked up. Backbreaker, and this time he pins him. The Billy Robinson. Inside backbreaker. Buddy Rose wins the second fall to even up our main event at one fall apiece. And I'll tell you, I'll bet we have not seen anything yet because this one has just started. Tom Peters, the aisle, that was it. They were coming down the aisle. Rose came up from behind him, somebody with a foreign object into the ring. Sit out, backbreaker on Piper by Rose. Rose suckered him, got him from behind. The referees are walking up ahead, did not notice. Unable to get that pin. We are out of commercial break, incidentally, so we'll be holding it here until the 10 o'clock break in the news to follow. Audie Piper caught in a body lock or bear hug. Has nothing to do with the hold, but remember tomorrow's Mother's Day, Sandy Bar's flea market, Mother's in free. Right at this point, these two probably think the other is eligible for free attendance tomorrow at the flea market. Piper coming back swinging. And up through the ropes, catching one in the mouth. Buddy Rose. Coming back at it. Piper working on Rose. And I'll tell you, this still is not busted into the brawl that we had here Tuesday night. Hey, I didn't think this one would get this far. It's amazing that it has made it this far. Set for the whip, rose hard into the corner. A hip throw, literally, threw a hip into the midsection. Piper on Rose. Rose bailing out, walking around. Round and around they go. They are outside the ring again. This is where they spent most of their time Tuesday. They're out there again. Rose, wheeling away. They are checking to see who is, if anybody's out legally or illegally. 
And I think at this point they're trying to get somebody in the ring or at least break it up between them outside the ring. Sandy Barr is there. Dutch Savage is on top. Here comes Wiskowski from behind. Wiskowski slams the head of Piper into the ring. Wiskowski came from behind and was not seen. He was not seen by the referees. The referees were inside in the mess, in the melee, in between the two wrestlers. They are in a quandary as to what to do. Rose is in the ring. Rose is in the ring. And Piper is not. Rose is in the ring. Piper is not. And Sandy Barr is trying to find out what happened. Rose is saying, I kicked, kicked him out. He was unconscious all that time. He says, while I was down outside, he says, I kicked him. And you guys got me back in the ring. And this crowd is in a turmoil. Buddy Rose wants to go back to the dressing room or come up and talk. He loves that, too. And Savage is saying, I don't believe it. They are discussing now whether they agree or not. We've got Rose coming up this way. We'll try to keep as many shots for you. Rose is DQ'd. Buddy Rose DQ'd. Disqualification. The winner is Piper. He ruled. No. Savage, you're wrong. When we were down on the floor, I kicked Piper in the head. Wiskowski's in the locker room. Hey, Piper! Roddy Piper! Who made it up here first? I made it up here first. Now, I raised my own hand because I know I beat you. So next Saturday, put your title on the line, yellow back, green back, woman dresser. Yeah, big baby, yellow, put your title on the line because you were the last man laying there. I got up here, look at your head, look at my head, but I made it first. Put your title on the line next Saturday, it'll be the last night you'll ever wear a belt. Well, we've got about four minutes left. Buddy Rose, having made the challenge, is now running for the dressing room. Having made the challenge coming up through the crowd, Rowdy Roddy Piper. And Piper challenging him back. Rose! Come here! Come here, Rose! You call me a yellow belly! You call me a yellow belly! I never had no help in there, Rose. Nobody ran your head into a steel post but me. Brooksy never ran out here and hurt you. You say I'm afraid of you, you fat slob. You think for one second that I'm afraid of you? When you were in high school, Gavin, your mama packed your lunch. I was out fighting in the ring, Rose. When you were a little baby, Rose, having everything spoon-fed to you, I was coming up the hard way, Rose. I make no bones about it, Rose. How about last Tuesday, when I had you way up there, way up there in the yellow section? Look up there. Look up there in the yellow section. Well, you know what I think, Rose? I think a little bit of that yellow rubbed off on you, Rose. 
You come out here talking how big you are. You come out here saying that I got a big mouth. Well, let me tell you something. I can back it up, and I'm here to prove it. You want a title match? You want a title match? I'll tell you what, boy. We'll see how much guts you got. You run all over this arena like a little scared puppy dog. Well, I ain't a long distance runner, brother. I'm a fighter. So Sam, we're going to do something Sandy to keep Bar. you in the ring. Roddy, Roddy, excuse me just a minute. Don Owens just informed me that he's going to end this feud once and for all next Saturday night. He's going to bring you guys back in here. No disqualifications and six guards around the ring to make sure you stay in the ring. Oh, Buddy Rose! Buddy Rose! You are in trouble! You listen to me! Saturday! Saturday right here at the arena! There's gonna be no one to run from, Rose! There's gonna be no one! Listen to me, Rosie! Brooksy and I have got a plan! You're a wanted man, Buddy Rose! You think there's gonna be six people around the ring? And I'm gonna make sure, because I'm gonna pay them myself, Buddy Rose! I'm gonna pay them myself every time you step out of the ring, Buddy Rose! They're gonna plant one of these right between your big, fat, ugly face! You know what, Buddy Rose? When you turn around and jump back in, I'm gonna plant another one right on the other side, Buddy Rose! And we're gonna see once and for all in history! I've never been through such a tough match in my entire life last Tuesday! You people that saw it, you know what I'm talking about! We fought in the walls, we fought in the house, we fought every place in this building. We fought women and children and babies were fleeing for their very lives. Buddy Rose, you people aren't going to have to worry about running in the stands because it's all going to take place in the ring. Buddy Rose, I'm going to be there to do my thing when I put my knucks on your noggin. When you see me down there, you're down there bleeding to death and praying you're going to say, the king of the ring, the lean mean machine is the king of the ring. Buddy Rose, you are in a lot of trouble, brother. It is said that what the Army paper stars and stripes was to World War II. Partner in a big one tonight, Playboy Buddy Rose. Listen to the respect we're getting from these people. You know, whether it be in Tacoma, whether it be in Longview, whether it be in Sweet Home, you put me against that Roddy Piper here, anywhere, and I'll take care of him. You know, there's rumor out that Killer Tim Brooks is going to be back. Well, they said that two weeks ago he was going to be back. They say he's going to be back this week. They say he's going to be back last week. Well, if he's back in any of those towns, anywhere, I don't care because we know he ain't going to be back. Brooks is done. He's gone. Laskowski and I have one person to take care of, and that's Rowdy Roddy Piper. And tonight is the night that I'm going to get rid of Roddy Piper for good. You know, today, visiting a horse ranch and there I had the pleasure to see a young colt separated from its mother separated taken apart for the first time and it was so reminiscent of just a short six weeks ago when Roddy Piper was separated from his mother Killer Brooks well shortly as it may be Piper is still without his mother, and we haven't heard a word from her. Well, that's the words from Wiskowski and Rose, and a lot of action. Any of action. those towns, any of we'll those towns. We'll be back in just a moment right now. Tom anybody. Peterson. We don't care who we'll beat him. We'll explain the rules, which really are no rules at all. No stopping for anything, and there'll be a number of wrestlers around the ring to keep the combatants in the ring. Buddy Rose with his large cape with a Playboy type bunny on it with his partner Ed Wiskowski. And we see Adrian Adonis, Ron Starr, Stan Stasiak. Here comes the opponent for this match, the Scotsman. Down at ringside, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and of course, his partner, Pipe. Uh, Brooks is not here. Brooks is rumored to be returning to action very soon. But here's Dutch Savage. Let's listen. Ladies and gentlemen, the main event of the evening, 
for the Pacific Coast Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first the Blue Trunks from Las Vegas, Nevada. The challenger at 262 pounds, Playboy Buddy Rose. This is a special rules match for the championship. There will be guards stationed around the ring. When a man leaves, he'll be automatically thrown back in and continue wrestling. Mr. Rose and Mr. Piper have agreed to another special rule. It was Rose's idea. They both signed a contract. Mr. Elton Owens had it notarized. This will be one fall, Mr. Barr, to a finish. Now, introducing the champion from Scotland at 251 pounds, Rowdy Roddy Piper! Your referee sanctioned by the National Wrestling Association, Mr. Sandy Barr. And he's going to have some help on this one. Stasiak, Matt Bourne, we mentioned Adonis and Starr. Mantell, Rick Connor, all around the ring. And Wiskowski, of course, also having the opportunity, the showing of the Pacific Coast title to the challenger. So Wiskowski is down at ringside. That is Playboy Buddy Rose's partner, and as a wrestler, he is allowed down there because this is a special rules lumberjack match. That's the most common name for it. The man tries to get out of the ring. He will be thrown back in. There's no running. And one fall will decide it all. Now, because of the coming back of Mantell and Stasiak, We've gotten behind on commercial breaks, so at the end of this match, we will have a uh, couple of breaks alert the people back at the station. Rowdy Rowdy Piper, Wiskowski, saying to referee Sandy Barr, as he legally hit him with the fist. Two of the roughest young men in professional wrestling today going at it and for one of the big titles in the country today and that is the Pacific Coast Heavyweight Championship. Piper is defending it. Laskowski grabs a rope, puts one foot on the apron, the crowd starts yelling and he puts it down. This is one fall to a finish to stay with us at the end. We'll be throwing it back to the studio but we'll be returning. And uh, these two have been in two classic confrontations so far. Back on, I believe it was the 8th, the first Tuesday of the month. Then again last Saturday. And this one just might be the granddaddy of all of them. Brooks not on hand. Piper, if you want to call it that, uh, call it a disadvantage because Rose has his partner, Wiskowski at ringside. All the other wrestlers are at ringside. Watching the match, first of all. With a wing lock, Roddy Roddy Piper. Taking him into a corner is Rose. And Wiskowski trips. Wiskowski reached in. Grabbed the foot of Piper. He fell forward and Rose after him. The whip hard into the corner goes Piper. I'll tell you, that one hurts up here. Now out to the middle of the ring, the challenger, trying to get that Pacific Coast Championship. I 
headlock from behind. Playboy Buddy Rose. He's got him down on the mat with it. Making his way to a sitting position. Rowdy Ruddy Piper. And who thought a few weeks ago that you would hear a capacity crowd, thousands of people at the Portland Sports Arena cheering for Rowdy Piper. Piper back. Elbow to the midsection of Rose. Backs up to Playboy. The blonde Playboy out of Las Vegas, Nevada. In against Rowdy Roddy Piper. And again, an attempted trip by Wiskowski. And he got the foot pulled out. Now Stan Stasiak is circling around. He is going to stand by Wiskowski. Mantell was by him. Stasiak is somebody else. Need you and circling around the other side are Star and Adonis. And now Stasiak has taken up a position in that corner. And I don't think Wiskowski is going to want to move him. He is down on the mat in that corner. He is going to try to. Keep things equal here, Wiskowski. He's gotten in a couple of trips. Tripped his man twice. His partner's opponent. He's supposed to be neutral in this case. Quite naturally. All the wrestlers are on the ring. And that's to keep either one of these men in if they try to run. They'll be grabbed and thrown back in. Stasiak is down in Rose's corner so that Wyskowski cannot be there. Stasiak sees that there is no one at all across the way. So he moves the other direction. To even it out. They're trying to have a couple men on each side. Take down. And Rose comes back. He was put to the mat. But taken back down. Turnbuckle treatment for Piper. Now he is taken across the ring all the way. Slammed into that top turnbuckle in the neutral corner. And again, Stasiak circling. As Wiskowski went into that corner. Piper outside. And it's Wiskowski grabbing him by the hair and putting him back in. And Wiskowski again pushing him back in. And Starr comes up now and says, just push him back in. Let's not be grabbing him by the hair and throwing him back in. Piper now getting much the worse of it. As we've had the first situation of a man outside the ring. A count of two and almost three by Rose on Piper. Piper now looked out and took a wild swing at Wiskowski. Wyskowski grabbing Piper by the hair, throwing him back into the ring. Set up for a backbreaker. It's a sit-out backbreaker. Body press by the challenger, Rose. Gets a count of two. Piper flail kicks off again. And Wyskowski yelling at the referee, says, give him a one, two, three. Sandy Barr says, he got two seconds. That's all he was... All he had, Piper comes back with a big swing. He's hurt, trying to shake it off. Comes off the ropes with a wicked right cross. Thrown halfway across the ring.
I'll tell you, just the third episode, call it the fourth if you want to count the beginning tag team match when this feud started. Oh, I would say the fourth page in an epic grudge struggle between Piper and Rose. So much so that the crowd has began cheering for Roddy Roddy Piper, if you'd ever believe it. Coming over the top, going for the pin, Rose might know. Looked like he might have it, he counted. Got a count of two. So far, I would say Rose has the upper hand in punishment that has been dealt out. But Piper is a man who can take what both of these fellas are, or they wouldn't be the highly ranked pro wrestlers that they are. Rose falling out, and their star, Matt Barr, or Matt Bourne. Rose wants to get out the other way, and there is Adonis, and Star throwing him back in. That time he's trying to run. He is trying to get out of there. Matt Bourne. Stan stays the air. Ron Starr. He gets out on the side where Mantel and Wyskowski are. They're trying to buy him some time. But quickly we get Stasiak, Starr, and Bourne moving in. That's a wild-eyed Scotsman. Flying mare. Flying foot stomp. Watch out for the Scotsman. Woo! He unloaded that time, and Rose wants to get out, and you see what happens. Star. Stasiak. And Adrian Adonis. And he says, you want out? We'll put you out over the top rope. Mantell. Stasiak. Born. Star, Wyskowski are all there, getting them back in the ring. Buddy Rose trying to get out. Now gets a foot on the ropes. Rose slips his feet out on the apron. Star pushes him back. Quick left jab. Lightning left. And a combination thrown by Piper. Covers the challenger with a body press. Gets a count of about two and nine ten seconds. That was awfully close to putting it away. Drop kick miss. Buddy Rose showing the experience that he has gained in a hurry. Grabbing the ropes. Stopping short. Piper missed the drop kick and went to the mat. Hard, I might add. They're in the corner, coming out of it. And it's Rose headlong into the corner. He had a uh, headlock. He was going to try to take Piper into that corner. Piper stopped short. Now Piper comes back with a kick out of the corner. Now... Has him up on his shoulders. Is he going to go for the airplane spin? An old timer. He is. He's shooting the airplane spin. Very seldom seen. But Roddy, Roddy, Roddy Piper going for it. Now dumped to the mat. And he could be putting him away, but he's too dizzy to follow him up. He is not used to that old himself. Falling over the inert body of Rose at the count of two. He throws him off it. Five minutes. Thrown outside the ring. Now Piper hauled outside by Rose. Both battlers outside the ring going around the wrestlers coming around.